All right, team, let's get it going. Elective classes. So we're starting off with some jujitsu training. Uh, today we'll be doing some jumping and spinning and jumping and spinning and kicking and then some cool stuff with commas and then I have Kali class after that. So let's start off with our student creed. Everyone neutral stance, position, set, courtesy. And student creed number one, I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. Number two, I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Number three, I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. Courtesy. All right, so jumping jacks, squats into push-ups, couple of sets, and then we're gonna do some other stuff. Ready, set a 10 for all of them. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Squats for a set of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then drop down for a set of push ups for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Jump back up. Another set of jumping jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lunges this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then elbow to knee crunches this time as we go to the ground. Ready, set a 10, two count for one. No strike that, one counts as two. No, two counts as one. Go with me, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and have a seat, butterfly stretch. So going through the short sprawl. The short sprawl is in class, our self-defense, we do the regular sprawl. Somebody tries to tackle us and we shoot our hands down to their, um, their back, their shoulders, whatever it happens to be. The short sprawl is I'm here and you're in tight and I don't have enough room to get my hands all the way out here. I have a much shorter distance. So what I do is I use my hip bone and as the person drives in at me, I use my hip, I drop that leg out and I push my hip into the ground. As I catch myself, catching myself on my forearms and my palms, right? So I start already closer to the ground and my hip drops as this leg shoots back, right? So I sprawl and then I'm gonna come around to technical lift and then I'm just simply gonna get up from there, right? Now I have these nice stops mats. Many of you are on hardwood floors and carpeting, but I can promise you it's not much softer than what I learned to do these on initially. It was on concrete with a little bit of carpet over it. So just don't fall hard on the ground, right? I just simply drop, put your hands down, kick this leg back, drop your hip to the ground. It doesn't have to be any harder than that. Spin on your bottom to technical lift, bring that leg back, and then stand up. I get down close, my hands on the ground. Bring your front leg back, let that hip touch the ground. Spin around a technical lift, and then bring your foot back, right? And again, slow. Hands on the mat, bring your front leg behind you, and brought, drop that hip to the ground. Spin around to technical lift, which this part of it is just a quick way to get back up and the proper way to get up. Although we're gonna add on to that in a, little, in a few minutes, right? So now let's go just a little bit faster. Again, if you have a hard floor and don't feel comfortable, stay in this space, just go and then spin through. And even with these mats, I'm not moving much faster than that, right? Here's my pace. I drop, I spin, I get up, right? Drop, spin, get up. This should be easy and gentle on your body, not hard, right? Ready, go. Drop, spin, and then get back up. Drop, spin, get right back up. Drop, spin, get right back up. You might even switch and go to the other side. Drop, spin, get back up. If you're still working on it, just stay with your same side forward. It's always best to get used to it on one side, good, before you try switching and doing it on the other side. And then that way, one side can teach the other. We're not gonna go into that concept today, 
but my colleague class should have heard many times from me. The right hand teaches the left. And one more. Drop, spin, and then you get back up. Good. And then butterfly stretch. <clears throat> so once I've sprawled and now the person's under me, what do I do? Because they're right here. Realistically, I'm not going to go to my technical lift and then try and kick them and get back up. Now, maybe, and this is where the popping up from sprawling comes into play, that I'm here, I drop, and then I pop right back up quick to move away. So, like if you've been with the advanced B days, I have you sparring, and then you sprawl, you pop back up. And that's the idea, is I sprawl, and quickly pop right back up, right? With this one, a little different. I'm gonna control the person on the ground. So now I drop, and I'm gonna to run to their backside, right? As I do that, this hand goes under their arm, ideally. If I get under the arm here, I have a good grip. If I go over the shoulder, they can pop their head out easy. So I wanna go under the arm and get that undercut, right? So that's what I'm visualizing. They're laying in front of me this way, right? I'll go this way. So they're laying down in front of me, and I just sprawl. As I shoot around them, this hand goes under their arm, and then I drop down to like a side headlock position, but I'm not grabbing the head. I'm trying to control the underhook, right? So that's me running to the back after. So let's do this together. Um, I'm gonna face this way, just so you can kind of have a sense of it, and then I'm gonna turn back around. So we're gonna face here. We're in our um, stance, put your left side forward, and we're gonna sprawl and shoot our left leg back. I'm gonna take my right leg and shoot that around the corner. My right hand goes under their arm, and then my right leg continues to sit through till I'm hanging out like this, right? And then I step, step right back up. So let's do it again. We're here. I sprawl, my left leg drops back. I'm gonna take my feet, I kind of switch them for a moment and then shoot the right leg around. My right hand shoots under the arm and then I just bring my left leg over and I control the side position from here for a moment, right? I could also just simply go right to the full cross side. Again, we're gonna sprawl, shoot the corner, my right hand goes under the arm, and then I sit right back to this cross side, or um, um, scarf fold position, right? Or side headlock. So now let's try and go a little faster. So now when I say go, it's gonna be sprawl, and then cut the corner, and you should end up with your right hip on the ground, right? So ready from here, I'll face the same way. We go, sprawl, cut the corner, Right hip is on the ground, left foot is on the ground. I'm on my right forearm, which would represent this arm is underneath here on the person, right? Set right back up, and we do it again. Ready, go, sprawl, cut the corner, shoot the hand under, get to a controlling position. And then right back up, and do it again. I'm gonna do it from a couple different directions now. Ready, go, we sprawl, shoot out, my hand goes around. And set right back up. And go, I shoot out, I step around, my arm goes around the neck. Back, and again, go. Short sprawl, right arm goes around, right hips on the ground. Let's see how you guys are looking. Ready, and go. Quick sprawl. Good, step back up, do it again. Ready, go. Oh, shoot through. Jackson, nice work. Set back up. And go. Nice, Talon. Nice work. That's it. One more time. Set right back up. And ready. Quick, quick, quick. Go. Sprawl. Hips through. And set right back up. And actually, butterfly stretch for a moment. Um, so I'm gonna just hit a quick detail on that one first, and then we're gonna build on. Because most of you guys are doing pretty well with it. Some of you have the idea, but you're stepping, um, you need to step the other way. So what I mean by that is you're going here, you're sprawling fine, and then you're just kind of going here and coming to this cross side, right? But keep in mind the person's head is that way. They're laying on the ground like this, which means I'm facing their feet right now. So I have my arm wrapped around their body. So as I sprawl, keep in mind, their head is here. So I'm spinning to my other hip, 
and grabbing her head and facing away. So I should be facing behind the way that I started, okay? So we're starting off facing this way. By the time I do this drill and I step around, I'm facing this way, which I'm facing you, but you should be facing the same way I'm facing, which is away from you, right? So 30 more seconds, fix that step, go. And then we'll build on quickly and then we gotta move. So your back should be towards me when you're done. That's better, Andrea. There you go, Talon, right. Sprawl, step through. That's it, Joseph, good work. Ashan, good work. Um, trying to see, okay, good. So let's add on from here. You guys are much better, much better. I think everybody has it now. So now as we add on, I'm gonna turn back around and face the same direction you guys are. On, on groundwork facing you, trying to mirror it. It's gonna to be too challenging for you to figure it out. So I'm facing this way. All we're gonna do now is take the person's back, right? So what's gonna happen is I sprawl, I shoot my leg through right to where you just were. But now from here, I'm gonna reposition and face towards them. I'm gonna bring my right leg up on their body. My right arm is already under their shoulder. So I can pull on the shoulder as I sit back and now I have their back and they're right in front of me and I can start working on chokes, all right? So let's do that again. We're right here, short sprawl, run to the back. Right arm goes around. Now scissors your legs so you're sitting more cross-eyed towards a person, but don't let this right arm come out. Don't pull this arm back, keep that arm there. Bring your right leg up so I kind of scooch forward and now I pull with both of my hands to my chest as I kick out with the left leg, and then I can wrap them up, and I have their back, right? And we do it again, set right back up, and short sprawl, run to the back. Right arm goes under their arm. Scissor your feet, come back to kind of like a cross side. Shuffle forward with your left, bring your right leg up. I put my foot on the ground, but it would really be my shin up against them. I pull into them as I kick my left leg out underneath them, which helps to swing their body around, right? And then spin back around, and we do it again. Short sprawl. Go to the side, arm under their shoulder. Switch your feet, step back around. Shuffle in, bring your right leg up against them. Pull them tight to your chest, sit back as you kick your left leg out. And one last time, ready? Short sprawl. Bring the back, right arm goes through. Switch your feet, sit in, shuffle up, grab, pull, kick out, and we have their back. There you go. Nice job, team. Quick jitsu bow. All right, so from here, we go into advanced kicking. So today, we're going into the 540 spin. What I need you to do is make sure that your surroundings are safe. Around me, I have my whole floor, right? About six, seven feet that way you can see is one of the double XLs. Seven feet that way is another double XL. I have some weights about seven feet away from me there. The wall is about six feet behind me. I have a great big open spot for me to jump, spin, and if I take a couple of steps, I'm fine, right? Some of you have mantles in the background, or there's like a bookshelf in the background, right? Or a table or a chair right there, right? And suddenly, let's replicate my room. Suddenly I have this table right here, right next to me. And I'm trying to go 540 degree spins. So I'm stepping and I'm punching and I'm spinning as fast as I can. Bam, I hit the wall. I hit my elbow on the chair. Boom, I hit my knee on a chair. I accidentally kicked my mom's lamp, all right? Don't do that with any of your chairs at home. You guys all get the picture, yes? Make sure you have plenty of space around you that you're not gonna have to worry about falling and getting hurt because we are gonna be spinning often, right? So here's the first drill, just jumping. So all you're doing, just like 30 seconds, I just want you to jump. Just jump, jump, jump. We're just gonna spend about 30 seconds. You're just barely getting your body off the ground, right? We're not jumping high. We're not pushing really hard. We're just getting our calves, kind of our whole nervous system, ready for this impact, right? And it should be soft. When you're landing, 
it should be like my feet go up, they come down the same way they go up, right? And my toes leave last and they're the first thing to hit, right? And time, all right? So now we're gonna jump a little bit higher. With the jumping, I'll demonstrate a couple, although um, I have to be nice to my body, so I can't do a whole lot of jumping today. I'll demonstrate a couple so you guys get an idea of what I'm looking for, and then I'm just gonna watch and see how amazing my amazing team is, right? So now we're just jumping a little higher, still toes to the ground, and I'm jumping, and then I pause. Jump, and then pause. Jump, and then pause. Keep your hands close to your body, right? Swing a little bit to get up, toes pointed to the ground. 30 seconds, go. You might only get 10 of them in inside of 30 seconds. If you're really going jump, and then take a breath. Jump, take a breath. We do a lot of jumping. If you're working hard in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna have you really sweaty. So don't worry about pushing too hard. I promise, we'll get you there. Zach, do you have plenty of room around you to jump and spin? Just making sure as I scroll through and see what I'm looking at. Shivanch, that counter in front of you is plenty far enough away, right? Just making sure, you've, I know you've got the couch behind you, counter in front of you, right? Fall on the couch, not the counter. And time. All right, so now from here, we're gonna do the jump and then 180. So controlling our rotation. I want you to jump as high as you can now, but only rotate 180 degrees, right? Because let's say that I do you know, a pop-up roundhouse kick. Now certainly for me to get the pop-up 360 roundhouse kick in that full rotation like we worked yesterday, I have to jump higher for that. But why not jump just as high for the pop-up roundhouse kick? It'll look better if I jump higher, so why save it for the big kicks? Practice them all that way. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna jump as high as you can, but only rotate 180 degrees, front side rotation. Only rotate 180 degrees, but as high as you can. 30 seconds, go. Front side only, jump and then jump back. That's it, good Samira. Good. When you guys jump, bring your hands up by your chin, right? If I jump and my hands are coming up, I'm helping to create that momentum. If I jump and my hands are to the side, then I'm not. That's better, Dahlia. Namar, nice. Keep your body tall as you guys jump straight, straight. And time, all right? So like I said, just 30 second rounds. Now backside rotation with the 180 spin. So again, I'm trying to jump as high as I can, but only spin 180 degrees. High as I can, but only spin 180 degrees, All right? Three, two, one, go, 30 seconds. Try and keep your feet as close as you can. That's one of the things I remind myself of all the time. I always find my feet coming apart. Try and think tight. Jackson, that was really nice. Much, much better. Let's see it. Oh, you have plenty of room, Gustavo. Get running. Get jumping. There you go. Control it. <laughs> On your feet, brother. Andrea, jump. Good job. And oh, five more seconds. Good. And time. All right. So with swinging your hands, once I swing my hands, I want to keep them close to my body. If when I swing them, I keep them out here, it's going to knock the rotation off, especially as I start to rotate, right, faster and further. So I want my hands in nice and tight. I swing them to gain momentum, but then it's like I punch up and keep them in tight to my body. So now we're going to jump to the 360 rotations. So still one side's forward. We're going to do front side rotation. That means from here, I have to jump. My back shoulder comes forward first, and I land with my right side forward, right? So I'm going to jump, spin, right side's forward. Jump, spin, right side's forward, right? Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Pause in between each one just for a second. Try not to get too crazy dizzy. Just thought of a wonderful drill that'll help you to get, help you from getting too dizzy. We'll do it in a minute. We're not gonna do it yet. Good, remember feet together, try and keep them together tight, team. Two-footed takeoffs. 
That's it, Nathaniel. Even higher, jump, punch your head right through the ceiling. Sunny, nice height. Five more seconds, keep going. Nice, Zach, good rotation. And time. All right, so now switch. Your other side is forward, and now you're doing your other 360 rotation. So Jerry, I had my right side forward for that last time, so now my left side's forward, and my back shoulder comes forward first, right? So I jump, rotate, land with my left side forward again, right? Three, two, one, go. Jump, spin, land. Nice, Annika. Let's see it. Good, Matthew. Hands in, hands up by your face. Here you go. Yep. Good, good, good. Three more seconds. Get a couple more in, or one more anyway. And time. All right, so now we're going to go backside 360s. Although now, here's what I'm going to do. This was the um, anti dizzy uh, drill. We're gonna call it that. So now I go backside 360, boom, and now I go frontside 360, boom. So my right side's forward, for you guys it might look like your left side's forward, whichever. So I go backside first though. So I jump backside rotation, and then I go jump side front, front side rotation. And then again, backside rotation, and then I go front side rotation, right? Three, two, one, go. One side is forward, spin one way, and then spin right back the other. One way, spin right back the other. Good. Come on, go, go, go. Some of you guys only have done one jump and I looked at you for 12 seconds. Once you finish the rotation, stop. Five more seconds, come on. And time. All right, so now you're gonna switch and you're gonna put your other side forward. Keep in mind with this drill, my left side is forward right now. When I land from my backside rotation, my left side should still be forward. When I go to my front side rotation, my left side should still be forward, right? So my same side is forward each time. And now also see if you can do it and then bounce right back. So it's almost like one, two. So I jump one, land two, and then come right back quickly. And then pause and then do it again. Go. One, two. Remember your same side ends up forward as you guys are rotating through. So if I start with my left side forward, my left side should be forward again when I stop. Not the right side. Ha <laughs> ha. All three sodas are in the class. I love it. Keep it going. Oh, easy, Talon. Stick the landing, brother. Three, two, one, time. All right, so 540 rotations. You got two different ways you can do the 540 rotation. We're going to continue to the way that we've been doing it so far. Last week, I previewed the jump spinning hook kick or the 360 spinning hook kick, what we used to call it, even though it's more of a 540. And we're gonna do that rotation as well. But here's the 540 first. I have to stand, I have to jump, I'll let you choose front side or back side. And you have to jump, spin one whole rotation, and your other side lands forward, 540 degrees, right? So, or I could start here and go front side rotation, there's my left side being forward. I should still be in the air. I land with my right side forward, right? Your choice, front side or back side. So if I'm here and I go front side rotation, I should be able to jump, spin all the way around, land with my right side forward. So full 540 degrees, right? And then if I kept going and I went this way again, then look, I'm right back to where I started. And again, notice I just bobbled like four feet off of that. Pay attention to what's around you. You're spinning much faster now. You're gonna lose your balance even more. Ideally, you won't, but it happens, right? Ready, get set, go. Pick a side, pick a direction. I don't care which one, front side, back side, but 540. I'm gonna scroll through and see who's nailing it. 
Ooh, Samira, close. Don't bounce, just go, commit to it. Yes, that was it. You, you were at like between 360 and 540, you almost had it. Um, Mr. Burton, did you fall or are you stretching? <laughs> I hope you didn't kill yourself, buddy. That was 360. Trying to see if I have someone that has it. Um, let's see, maybe. Oh, Talon, solid 360. Almost there. You got to stay in the air a little more. Keep your hands in tighter. You're really wide. If you tighten it up, your rotation will be faster. There you go. Now control the landing. Go, go, go. Oh, Mr. Anderson may have had it. He's the closest. Just has to tighten up. Oh, Nathaniel might have it too. Nathaniel, do that again. Boom. Oh, Nathaniel, I think you went past 540 actually. Huh. You're like oh, you're like halfway to a 720 with yours. If you jumped a little higher and spun a little faster, you'd have a 720. That was awesome. Nice job, team. And time. All right, so I said I'd let you jump into the 540, the other one. So with the other one, it's like I tuck and I drive my knee up across my body. For those of you who were here last week, um, it's a single leg takeoff instead of a double leg takeoff, right? Or if you weren't here last week, rather. So I'm jumping off of my front leg, I'm driving my back leg across my body, and that same leg will land. So I jump off of the left, this is me in the air, and then I land on the right, okay? So jump off the left, land on the right, your other side is forward. I step through, jump off, land on my other side's forward, all right? Give it a shot, go. And then you can even step back and go the other way on the way back. So you go, go one way, and then jump back, and come back the other way. Forward rotation, Olivia. Bring your right knee up and across your body. Closer, bring it right up and across. Sunny, nice work. Annika, nice work. So if you guys are finding that you're getting it down and a couple of you are right at the edge of throwing a kick, the next step would be I jump, and now from here, if I really wanted to do it in phases, excuse me, then I would make sure that this other foot I'm tucking up as well, like I'm getting ready to throw the kick. So I would go tuck, tuck, and that leg was ready to extend, right? Tuck, tuck, and that leg is ready to extend, right? That would be the next step, or you could just throw the kick. Either way, go. If you feel comfortable with the jump and the spin, Focus in on getting that other foot up. Nice, Sunny. Annika, nice. I lost Zach. Zach, you still alive? Oh, there he is, okay. <coughs> Where's my wife? Sorry, I had to grab some water. I've been talking for the last hour. And time. Nice job, team. So now you have the 180 rotation front side, back side, 360s, 540s, the single tuck 540, right? What we used to call the 360 tuck spinning hook kick. And so now you can continue to build from there, right? Um, next week, we'll start changing it up and going to something a little bit different. For those of you that are staying and playing, Grab your commas. I got some cool stuff for you today. <clears throat> I will be right back. Hi, Reggie. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to grab a drink again. All right, so. Comma handling. Let's jump right into holding the commas. Again, middle of the comma is what we're holding on to, right? And we're thinking wrist action to get the comma moving. So 
Uh, great from here, a quick 30 seconds of 45 degree chops, right? These are things that when you do weapons, it's like when you play a musical instrument, many times your lesson may start with just simply playing different scales, right? Or different patterns with that instrument. And it's a good warm up, right? For what you're doing if you're advanced. And if you're not advanced, it's stuff you need anyway. And even if you are advanced, those basics are things you need. Switch, go to the other hand, right? There's certain things that you want to be able to do without thinking about. It. And a simple thing like a chop with a comma and having your wrist be what uses that or makes that action happen, that's just one of those basics that, that needs to be there. If that's not there, the rest of your comma handling is going to be sketchy. So you need to make sure this is here first. It should be that my wrist is what's moving the comma, not my arm and my shoulder. That certainly moves a little bit, but that's not what's really making the comma move. It's the wrist. Good, and time. So now let's go to the right hand and go to our figure eight. So slow, I'm trying to roll my wrist and my comma as big as I can. Right now we're doing it slow. We're gonna go chop, 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 chop. Stretch that wrist out. Roll it as far as you can. You should feel like it's hard. You're trying to make as big of a circle as you can each and every time, right? Good, now switching go to the other hand. And same thing, chop down, down, down. Whatever you'd like with this other hand. I like always having it somewhere on purpose. My first Kali instructor, uh, Kuno Guru Denzela, would always tell us when we're doing Kali, I'm using this hand, but right now just put the other hand behind your back. Have it somewhere on purpose. Don't let it just hang out because this is a bad habit. This is a better habit, at least with Kali. And now let's switch, we're gonna go back to the right hand, but here's what you're gonna do, you're gonna go backwards. So instead of going this way, or this is my right, this is your left, I have to stop and go the other way, right? Reverse figure eight with the comma, right? So as I come back, it's still coming, it's gonna be the point and the back of the hand, the point, the back of the hand, the point, the back of the hand. If you've ever done anything with reverse figure eight, this is the wrist motion. If you look at how my comma goes through this motion, the point as I come from the outside, the back as I come from the inside. The point as I come from the outside, the back as I come from the inside, right? And if you were doing flying commas, or if you're doing a bow or chucks, then this is the motion your wrist actually goes through when you're trying to do a reverse butterfly, right? So now the same thing on this side, or a reverse figure eight. So get the forward figure eight first, and again, go slow, team, right? I'm going slow because this is how I want you to go. So now I switch to rotation, and I come to the point on the back of the comma. The point, back of the comma. The point, back of the comma. Still trying to get that full circle, right? Full circle, full circle. These are really good wrist exercises and forearm exercises for different weapon handling. Even though with a comma, I'm probably never gonna do this motion, Again, it's a matter of athleticism, and you've heard me talk about that probably recently. I would imagine if you've listened in classes, I've been talking about it, that some of the drills we do are good for athleticism. They may not be something that I do in the ring or something that I would do specifically for self-defense, but indirectly, they're good athleticism and agility drills are gonna help you overall as a martial artist, right? And time, so let's shake out the wrist for a second. So let's go to first our over-unders. We did these last week. So I start with the left hand going under. So I go under my other comma, and then I go over the comma. And then I go under, and I go over. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Each time the comma, the other comma is going my shoulder, my rib, my shoulder, my rib, my left hand comma, or in my right hand, your left hand, comes to my shoulder every time, and the other comma is simply going under or over, or the other one. It doesn't matter, but just realize which one you're thinking of under and over. When I go under over, I think of the hand, the, my back hand. So I'm going over, under, over, under. But just know which hand it is, because I could focus on this hand and picture I'm going over, and then I'm under and then over, and then under. So just know which hand you're talking about, right? All right, so now let's go to the other side. And I'm gonna use my right hand, my back hand is the over-under hand. So I'm going under, over, under, over. Full extension each time, wrist extends, wrist snaps at the end. 
snap, 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 snap. Every time you get that snap at the end, get used to the wrist extending. That's where your flare, your flash from using commas is gonna come from, right? If I don't extend the wrist at the end, this is all it looks like. This is not as cool looking as this, right? On the video, you may not see the difference too much, but I can tell you if you are right in front of me watching and you're seeing this or you're seeing this, it's gonna be much different, right? This extra extension in the snap really shows well, right? Okay, so now we're gonna to go to our seven strikes. Remember with the seven strike, the other hand is up. So I go, uh, let's say we go left hand first, cross and then down, across and then down, across, down. Across, down. Let's do this. Put your, which way do I want you to do this? We do this with our left side forward. So left side is forward, across, and then down. Just thinking in advance the next drill that we're doing and how I want you to do it. Across, down, across, down, across, down. These ones aren't going to go fast today. I want you to anchor the right motion and get full range. And we're going to do a little bit more of an advanced combination in a moment. So I want you to make sure you have these down well. So instead of thinking of speed, I want us to think of form today. So when I start having you go one, two, three, four, or actually, how am I gonna do that? Three, seven, spin through chops, right? So we're gonna do that in a moment. Seven cuts for now. And then we're gonna add the spin through chopping. So I'm gonna do this a couple of times facing the direction you're facing. And then I'm gonna turn and face back towards you. Um, actually, I'll face this way first. So what's gonna happen, don't do this with me, it might confuse you because of the way I'll end up rotating when we go this way, is I'm gonna do my seven cuts, right? And then off of that, I seven cut, I start the seven cut, and I spin through, and I'm gonna go to a chop, right? So I'll do this a couple of different directions. I go seven cut, seven cut, spin through, and then strike, right? So as I do this, my right hand, my back hand hits one, two, and then it hits again, and I step through, and my left hand strikes, right? So follow along with me now. Our left side is forward, and we're set, kind of here to start. And we're going to go start with your right hand. Right hand across and then down, left hand across and then down. And then we strike with our right again as we step with our left. Our left hand comes up high in a guard. And then I step with the left as I strike, and my right hand comes back to the chamber. And the strike is going to be flat across, right? So I'm this way. And set back up. So we start here. We go right hand across and then down. And these are going to be soft bows, by the way, because we want to be able to move fast, right? Across and then down. And then I switch and I go soft with bow this way across and then down. I step through with my right as I chop with the right. My left hand's in a guard. I step through with the left. And now I go to my horse stance ish, right? It's not going to be a super deep horse stance, depending on the form. And then I chop with my left hand flat across, right? A couple more times slow and then we'll pick it up. So we start set. Start with your right hand. Chop across and then down. Left hand across and then down. Chop with the right, step with the right. Chop with the left as you set, right? And step back and then do it again. Right hand across and then down. Left hand across and then down. Chop with the right as you spin through. Chop with the left. And set back up one more time slow. Right hand, chop across and then down. Left hand across and then down. Chop with the right as you spin through. Chop with your left, right? So now we're gonna try and go a little faster. So the pace is gonna be this. I'm gonna go, I'll say go, and it'll be one, two, stop, or chop, spin chop, whatever, right? Here we go, ready, set, and go. Right, left, right, left. And then we set back up, and we do it again. Right, left, right, left. And set back up, do it again. Go, right, left, right, left. Set back up, do it again. I'll go this way with you guys, ready, go. Right, left, right, left. And set back up. And go, right, left, right, left. Set back up and go, right, left, right, left. All right, so little speed challenge. I say go, you move through that as quick as you can. Ready, go. And set back up, do it again, ready, go. Oh, losing my balance on the spin. Set back up, go. And back up once more with me. Go. All right, so let's see how you guys look. Ready, go. Siobhan, nice. Set back up and ready, go. 
Nice work, Connor. Set back up. Ready, three, two, one, go. Nice work, Alejandro. All right, so now we're gonna add on. We're gonna add on to the beginning of it, though. So we're gonna go chop, 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 and then right hand, left hand, spin through chop, and then our left side is forward again, right? And then when we start it over. So it'll look like this. I'll go right, left, right, left, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right? So again, we set here, start with your right hand. Ready, go, right, left, right, left, seven cuts, right, left, cut with the right, and then left. And then we set back up and start from here and the over, under first, right? So right hand, under, over, and then we go right hand again. Uh, did I do that? Set, three, four, yeah, yeah, one, two, three, four. So right hand under, over, and then cut across, 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 chop, right? And do it again, ready, go, one. Oh, sorry, under, over, and then seven, seven, chop, set. And again, under, over, under, over, seven, seven, spin through chop. And set, and go, under, over, seven, seven, spin through chop. All right, so I'm gonna face the same direction you guys are, and let's see if we can take it up and notch and go just a little bit faster. Ready, go, under, over, seven, spin through chop. And again, go, under, over, seven, spin through chop. Set back up, and go, under, over, seven, seven, spin through chop. All right, and now let's try picking it up just a little bit. Ready, Go, under, over, seven, spin through chop. And set back up, and go. Uh, under, over, seven, spin through chop. And go, under, over, seven, spin through chop. And ready, go, under, over, seven, spin through chop. Right, let's see how awesome you guys look. Ready, get set, and go. Alejandro, good work. Do it again, three, two, one, go. Good, Sonny. Nice work, Ella. Ready, go. And one more time. Three, two, one, ready, go. Nice, good work team. Ooh, Samir's got the bleed hanging, pointing right at me. And everyone set. And courtesy, Ooh, awesome job team, air high fives. You guys are all the best.